All right, welcome into another day of our daily devos in the Psalms. Pastor Rick here, and we are jumping back into the tail end of Psalm 119. It's been a journey, folks, but I uh, appreciate your perseverance, your endurance, as we have made our way through the longest chapter in the Bible, and I would say quite successfully. I uh, found it to be a pretty enjoyable journey, pretty helpful journey. So if you've missed any, obviously you can just jump on back in the list of videos and you can go check the rest of them out. Um, I'd love it if you like and comment and share and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. But uh, definitely liking and liking and commenting and uh, sharing really helps a lot more people be able to see the content and hopefully be helped by it. So if you could do that for me, that would be phenomenal so here we go we're going to jump in verse 169 let my cry reach you lord give me understanding according to your word i love the humility in this verse um because one it's like lord just let my cry get to your ears because i know if uh if my cry gets to you you're so good i know you'll do something about it i know you'll help me in my situation and then i love that it says give me understanding according to your word. Um, not just give me understanding of your word, but give me understanding according to your word that I would kind of measure all of my understanding against the truth of the word of God. Um, and also that all understanding comes from God. So just the humility to stop and say, Lord, even to understand, even to understand your word, even to understand my life, in relationship or according to your word, I need your help. So I love, I love that humility in his heart as he's crying out to the Lord. Let my cry reach you and then give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea reach you. Rescue me according to your promise. <clears throat> Again, just going back to the faithful promises of the Lord. Rescue me according to your promises because they are good. They're faithful steadfast love of the Lord. My lips pour out praise, verse 171. My lips pour out praise for you. Teach me your statutes. And I love this. It's kind of like uh, yesterday's uh, bonus Devo that we put out, you know, praising the Lord seven times a day, just making, making the praise of God. My lips pour out abundant, just constant praise to God because he teaches us his statutes. My tongue sings about your promise for all your commands are righteous. You teach me your statutes, your commands are righteous. And therefore my tongue sings about your promise. My, my lips pour out your praise. May your hand be ready to help me for I have chosen your precepts. It's like, Hey, I have committed my life completely to this thing, to your word, God, I'm trusting in your word. And therefore I'm asking you to back me up, you know, like may your hand be ready to help me when I, when I encounter any challenges, when I encounter any frustrations, Lord, may your hand be ready to help me. I trust in you. I am, I'm literally surrendering my whole life to you. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your instruction is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you. May your judgments help me. I wander like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commands. Uh, I love, the again, the humility here in uh, verse 176. I wander like a lost sheep. Seek your servant. Again, just recognizing how badly... We need the Lord to come and to come and pursue us because, man, all by ourselves, we just, we just wander. We get lost. We, where are you, Lord? What's going on? We get a little distracted. We get diverged off the trail. I wander like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, you know, kind of going back to. Psalm 23, the Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want, makes me lie down in green pastures. Come on. God is good. God is good. I'm going to read a little quote out of uh, 
the Songs of Jesus. It's uh, the devotional in the Psalms by Timothy Keller. I mentioned it a few a few videos back. And he says, uh, Psalm 119 has given us many directions about what to do with the scripture. We are to read, to learn, and understand it, to meditate on, memorize, and follow it. We're to take time to do this morning and night without fail. But all this is in vain unless God seeks you as you read his word. The word of God is alive and active, penetrating and healing like a surgeon's knife. If you aren't sure about the Bible's trustworthiness or if you have friends who aren't sure, just give yourselves to reading it. Even if you don't believe a knife is sharp, if it is, it can still cut you. I love that right there. Like if you have any trouble believing whether the word of God is alive and active and sharper than any two edged sword, just, just try it for a while because his word never returns void. And so it always accomplishes what it is meant to accomplish. So that has been the overarching like theme, the overarching drive of Psalm 119 is just the value and how important the word of God is to the foundation of our lives. So let's be people that learn, that grow, that meditate on, that memorize, that follow the word of God. And we will thrive. We will flourish. I hope you are encouraged today. God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll be in a whole new chapter. Psalm 120 is going to be very exciting. All right, take care.